fuck my shit on. These okay. fucking rotten leaves are gonna make us sick. I got fucked up sinus. I'm allergic to penicillin, but like years ago, mm -hmm. I took some penicillin. I didn't know I was allergic and I fucked up my whole face and it damaged my sinus tracks. So they, they get irritated, my shit gets infected. This is a curse for being wicked. <laughs> <laughs> All of us fucked up. We all got some kind of fucked up ailment. Mm -hmm. You know what? Most high don't give a shit. As long as you get your ass out here and do his work anyway. Most high's the one that fucked you up. That's right. He laughed at you too. Get out there and do my work, boy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, all the apostles got killed, got crucified. Uh get rid of my germs. Alcohol. Alcohol. This I ain't spreading no germs on nobody. I don't think I'm sick anyway. It's just a sinus infection. Oh, you got all that on camera too. That's awesome. Yeah, shit. This is how you use Disinfecting. What was we talking about? Oh, them nasty ass Jew motherfuckers. Nasty Jew. Yeah. Well, I could talk about them devils for fucking hours. That's the main thing we should be talking about. Whoa, I'm talking about your main nemesis. That's they the arch nemesis. Oh, wait a minute. They exaggerate that description. Learn to love by, love by neighbors. Shit. They're main referring to them Jews. Well, <laughs> like the Bible says, uh, thou shalt not charge your uh, brother usury. <laughs> they claim to be our brothers, but they charging everybody usury. Interest. You got, when you buy a car, you got to pay interest. You buy a house, you're paying interest. When you use a credit card, you gotta pay interest. Mm -hmm. You get your check cash, you paying interest. Mm -hmm. Listen, cash or check. They gotta, you know what I mean? They gotta get a piece of that. They gotta get a piece of everything. everything. Oh shit, not only that, but on all the food that you buy from the store, they got something called a Jew, it's not called a Jew tax, but it pretty much is the Jew tax. The yeah, hidden tax. The hidden tax on all your food. Okay, because before, because the Jews, they own all the distribution centers. So, they, they get a piece of the pie for every thing that's sold in the stores. They get a cut. You know what I mean? They own the store too. Yeah, they own the store. <laughs> All like, if we looked it up, Kroger. You know, Kroger grocery store. It used to be German. It used to be German. Guess what? Now no more. Guess who owns it now? About three years ago, some Jews bought it. Fucking Jews. So Kroger's out. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. But they still kept that German name. Did Kroger? Is that German? I guess it is. Kroger. Kroger. Yep. Wow. Motherfucking faggots, man. They're the biggest cocksuckers on the planet. I'm surprised it took that long to get covered, yeah. To be honest with you. Yeah, they bought them out. Yeah. They're just so called Probably one of the head owners died or something. They, yeah, they buy everybody out. You know the so-called Jews, they the ones who started Las Vegas. They even call it Sin City. They show you in that movie, uh, uh, uh was it Bubsy? Yeah. Yeah. You know, Bubsy right. Siegel? Right, yeah. The gangster? Yeah. Yeah. Siegel, Siegel is a Jew name. Okay, so, uh, Bubsy Siegel was a Jew. Who's that movie about with Warren Beatty in it? They showed you the founding of Las Vegas. Was that? Whatever. I don't think I've seen it. There's another good movie too to show you how the Jews were the uh, top gangsters. I'd like to see it now that you mentioned. Was uh, Once Upon a Time in America with Robert De Niro and uh, who's else in that? James. Uh, what's that fairy I've seen that too. I can't remember. Well, it's, it's directed by. Uh, Sierra J. Leone, the guy who directed all those Clint Eastwood Western movies. Mm -hmm. he, that was his last movie he made, exposing the Jews and how the Jews was running shit, running all the gangs. That's why when you watch all these Hollywood movies, the Hollywood movies tell you the Italians are the gangsters. They're the ones running shit. That's right. You know what I'm saying? But the Jews is making all the fucking movies. Then they're gonna spill the beans on themselves. They're gonna make it look, oh, it's the Italians, those are the gangsters. Mm -hmm. Well, you didn't have Italian mobs, but they was nowhere near the level of those Jew motherfuckers. Because a Jew is just heartless. He's just a cold-blooded killer. You know what I'm saying? That's why that Sopranos was so popular. You know what I mean? I always, make, I always blame everything on the Italians. Because the Italians are Israelites. And the Jews, they hate the Italians. So any time that they can smear them or defame them, they're going to do it. And they continue to do it. That's why uh, Italians, they got such a bad name because of Hollywood. 
If you meet someone in Italian, oh, you a gangster? You in the mafia? All oh, the Italians changed their name when they first came to America, so you wouldn't know they were Italians. That's some uh, curses of Deuteronomy. Well, actually, uh, yeah, actually the Jews were changing their names too, because uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. nobody liked them, because they was goddamn devils. And everybody back in the day, people used to be smart. People used to know that Jews were no fucking good, okay? Because they're the devil. I get uh, get for us uh, uh, first, uh, second John. I know, no, no, first John, two and twenty-two. I think that's what I want. First John two. Oh, he got it. Oh, go ahead, get it. Yeah. Okay, they're a bunch of faggots, man. Never trust a Jew. Like we said, uh, like the famous saying goes, "With Jews, you lose." <laughs> All right, and they're not Jews, yeah, they're Edomites. Go ahead, read that. What does that say? It's the first John 2 and 22 is, Who is a liar, but he that denieth that Yahweh Shai is the, is the anointed, he is Antichrist that denied the Father and the Son. They deny the Father. So they say the one you call Jesus is not the Messiah. Okay? They claim they follow the Old Testament. They don't even follow the Old Testament. They follow the Talmud. But they, 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 they reject this whole book. You know what I'm saying? So the Bible says they're a liar. They're a liar. That's it. There, there's no debating it. But you got all these so-called Christians talking about, well, the Jews are God's chosen people, so you better not speak ill of them. You better not say anything evil about them because God's going to get you for talking about his chosen. Is that right? Two, Revelation 2 and 9. I know thy works and tribulation and poverty. That's us. Oh, this is talking about the Lord's chosen people. Are the Jews in poverty? No, they're not. They're the richest bastards on the earth. They print the money. They print the money. They sell the diamonds. They, you know what I'm saying? All, all the jewelry shops are owned by who? Myers? I wonder who owns that store. But thou art rich, and I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not. And are not in OT. They're not Jews. But are the synagogue of Satan. They're the synagogue of Satan. They worship the devil. Okay? And yet, that's why they all dress in all black. The rabbis dress in all black. They look evil. They stink. Mm -hmm. They smell like Satan. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Then they got the nasty little doo doo, the little dookie curls coming down the side of their head. Looking all foul and evil. And then, oh yeah, like the. Like we said a thousand times, like when a, when a Jew has a baby boy, they circumcise the baby. When they circumcise the baby, they have a rabbi suck the blood out of the baby's penis. And if, and if you if you uh, question it, they look at you like you're stupid. Right, right. Sucking the baby. They're, they're a nation of child molesters. A bunch of faggots, a bunch of weirdos. That's a foul-ass whole nation. That whole nation foul. Foul. It's just like that shit he was reading. That was the last video we just made. When he was reading that 13 tribe. It said that women's pussies were infected with lice and crabs. They always smoke Yeah, scratching their husbands they, right there. That's some foul people, man. Man, they still like this to this day. What's well, the so called Jew that got everybody else acting uh, degenerate just like them mm -hmm. through their Hollywood movies? They pushing all this uh, homosexual shit in the Hollywood movies. They push adultery. They push people doing weird shit in the movies. And people, because people are like monkeys. Monkey see, monkey do. You know what I mean? Monkeys. So they, all these people, they only gonna do what they see, because they, you know, they got the mind of a monkey. <laughs> monkey see, monkey do. So they see a bunch of uh, homosexual activity in a Hollywood movie. They're gonna be a faggot. If they see all this adultery in the movies, they're gonna commit adultery. They well, you know, they watch a movie on people uh, worshiping Satan. Now they get them interested in worshiping Satan. You see the new church they're building on Detroit, a giant statue? No. The House of Satan. Oh, I didn't see that. Oh yeah. They're doing it right now as we speak. That's if they're all oh, the Church of Satan was founded in America by Ant Guess what Anton LaVey was? What's that? LaVey. Cause you know the Jews, they stole our identity. They claim they're the real Levi's and they're not. They're liars. Levi is another way of saying Levi. Wow. Anton Levi, the founder of the Church of Satan, was a so-called Jew, a devil. I say he's a priest, huh? 
Yeah, a little bit. He tried to say he's the high. He, he was a priest of Satan. Say, 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 <laughs> he wasn't lying. There you go. It's a fucking amazing. So I'm not making that up. That's how it looks bad. That's bad. So we ain't making shit up when we say Jews control the world. You've heard of the New World Order? It's the Jew World Order. Okay? And in the Jews Holy Book, the Talmud, they, they got a, a so called scripture in their Holy Book where they call all you Goyim and they say kill all Goyim by any means possible. That's their goal. Mm. It's to enslave you and to kill you. Job 9 and 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. <laughs> he covered the faces of the judges thereof. They cover the faces like they're trying to say they're the Levi's. That's why Anton LeVay got the, the, the last name Levi. That's why you got a people like Mark Levin. You know, I think Mark Levin might be a Jake, actually. Mark Here Levin. Goes Pat. Mark Levin. But uh, that word Levin, that go back to Levi. Did you got a lot of these so-called Jews with the last oh, name uh, Levy? You ever hear the last name Levy? Hey, fuck that cat. This is important. He's about to get hit by a car. Yeah. I'm, I'm compassionate to a cat. You ever heard that last name Levy? Yeah. Just like Levy, Levy, Levi. And then you a lot of these so-called Jews, because they claim they're the priest. The word for priest in Hebrew is, uh, uh well, they, the way they say it's Cohen. Yeah, C H N Cohen. That's why you got a lot of so-called Jews with a last name of Cohen. Just like what's that president of uh, Def Jam Records? Was it back in the day? Uh, wasn't the president of Def Jeff Jam's last name Cohen? But you get there's a lot of Cohens. That's why you get Genghis Khan, okay? Because Genghis Khan was an Edomite. All right, he's related to the so-called Jews. Uh, but that's that's part of that. They cover the faces of the judges. They they, they claiming the day the judges of the earth and they're Israel. And they're not Israel. Okay, like he read, they're the synagogue of Satan. It's just like the so-called Jew. They they infiltrated the Catholic Church. They took the Catholic Church over years ago. That that false image of Jesus they have these days is the image of uh, Cesare Borgia. She said what? Okay, and uh, Cesare Borgia's father was Pope Alexander the Sixth, okay, Rodrigo Borgia, a so-called Jew. If you get on uh, Google, Google a picture of Pope Alexander the Sixth, he's a goddamn hook-nosed devil. And he would uh, made his son as the new image of Jesus, so-called Jesus. Yep. So the so-called Jew, they infiltrated every government, every church, every religion, and they took that shit over. Half the goddamn senators of Washington, D.C. are so-called Jews with dual United States and Israeli citizenship. Dual. Dual I wonder where their interests lie. <laughs> dual. And then, the, like, the popular Republican candidates like Ted Cruz, he's always sucking it on a Jew's nuts. I'm talking about they, they get, all these politicians... If, they, if you want to become a senator, you got to go over there to, uh, to Israel, put on a yarmulke, and go to the Wailing Wall. Let me see how they do that. They always got them putting on a yarmulke. Yeah. You ain't going to never see me put no yarmulke on my head. I'll piss on it. I'll stop on it. Well, that, that proves who's running the Catholic Church. The so-called Jew. Like I said, the Jew... The so-called Jew, they took over the Catholic Church way back, going back to uh, Rodrigo Borgia. Back to the, 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 right, just like Christopher Columbus was a so-called Jew. Because the same year Rodrigo Borgia became Pope was 1492. And in 1492, Columbus sailed the ocean blue. Mm, mm, Ain't no fucking coincidence. Mm, mm, mm. Fucking amazing. Let me read this, this is about the fall of Jesus. Wisdom of Solomon 15 and 4. For neither did the mischievous inventions of men deceive us, nor an image spotted with diverse colors, the painter's fruitless labors. It's a fruitless labor. Oh, and Leonardo da Vinci paintings. Huh? Yeah. The sight whereof entices fools to lust after him. Everybody got the Last Supper right up in their house. <laughs> hey, hey, yo, Grandma got the Last Supper? I know I wonder if my aunt's house, uh, I mean, she's, 
you know, but they do that in ignorance. They think that's the Lord. You know what I mean? They don't know no better. But they think, because they love the Lord so much, they think that's the Lord. And they got the Last Supper up in their uh, up in their house. They used to see my mom. She got the collection. Well, she got the Mar my mom into Mary. She got tons of Mary. My mom, she got the Mary. You ain't never seen so many Mary. She got virgin blessed, so-called blessed virgins. She got a billion of them. She got a whole collection. Yeah, that's what made this shit too. I mean, she, she got a Queen of Heaven Museum. <laughs> right. she, she ain't got no Harley, no Caesars. She got all married. Yeah. Maybe some more. But they into me. See, our people, they like the, the little statues and the idols. Um. Foods lust after it, and they. The sight of whereof entices foods to lust after it, and so they desire the form of a dead image that has no breath. Yeah, dead image ain't got no breath. I got a blow now. <laughs> I, got a blow. I do too, I'm gonna hold it in. Let me, I can't even Let me finish this first. Both nostrils are clogged up. Right. Both they that make them, both they that make them, they that desire them, and they that worship them are lovers of evil things and are worthy to have such things to trust upon. That's just like the, the Catholic Church, they big on that. They go up there, they have that statue. They burn incense to it, you know what I'm saying? That shit ain't right, man. Ain't it going on right now in Mexico, that day in the dance shit? Is that, what is that? It ended like around the same time with Halloween. Oh yeah, Dia yeah. de Muertes, whatever that shit is. That is though, yeah, day of the dead, they worship the dead. I don't, I ain't into that shit. They ain't gonna catch me celebrate Halloween. I ain't gonna let my kids celebrate it. That's why there's stories in the news after trick or treat night. Yeah, I see multiple stories in the news about people putting drugs in the candy. If one kid, somebody put some meth in their meth in their fucking candy. Did we say that right before trick or treat happened? I was like, watch, you gonna get some cocaine candy. I was wrong. It wasn't cocaine. I said you gonna get some LSD candy. Shit candy. You get you get the ass. The, yeah, anus can asshole candy, butthole candy. Mm -hmm. Yep. It, it it's easy to take a tootsie roll out of the package and put it back in there. Easy. They probably take the tootsie roll, wrap it, stick it up their butthole, oh. wrap it back. That's up. why it's called a tootsie roll. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, we, tootsie. Yeah, it's I brown you know too. What's funny? Cause the porn that these blessed man bitches. Make is called tushy lovers. Tushy, yeah, tushy yep. lovers. They licking each, each they other's licking, assholes out. It, yeah, they be licking their buttholes for hours. Yeah. <laughs> That's just gross. Those right? bitches be eating each other's ass out. Wait a minute, the fags do too. Why do you want to eat someone's ass? That's disgusting. You all got a Syria? I'm gonna cuss the bitch off, but the bitch got a head cut. Yeah. You know. She about to go join ISIS. I, yeah, man. I can, you get all these Muslims, man. Fuck it. And like, you get mad about it, but like, fuck it. It's a piece of shit country anyway. They just further help them bring this shit down. You know what? I got to clap today. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Because it's the end of this shit. You can tell it's the end. That's right. That's right. Oh, you got more of them bad boys right there? Yeah. The recolas? Yeah. Where, where, where do you get those? I gotta get some of those. Kroger? Oh, oh, yeah. I'll leave some, man. Are you holding? Hey, go ahead and read some. I gotta get it. Oh, I got plenty of this for you. I gotta go with my goddamn nose. Okay, <laughs> um. For the potter, tempering soft earth, fashioneth every vessel with much labor for our service. Yea, of the same clay he maketh both the vessels that serve for clean uses and likewise also all such as serve to the contrary. Opposite of clean, dirty, filth, wickedness, evil. But what is the use of either sort? The potter himself is the judge. And employing his labors lewdly, he maketh a vain god of the same clay, even he which a little before it was made of earth himself. Huh. And within a little while after returning to the same, out of the which he was taken when his life which was lent him shall be demanded. Notwithstanding his care is not that he shall have much labor. 
Oh. Uh, you know, man, you know back in the ancient world, people was really fucking stupid, man. Stupid, man. But you know what? That was thousands of years ago, they was worshiping statues. Motherfuckers is still worshiping statues. You know the Mexicans, they got the, uh, they got the Santa de Muerte. The saint, the saint of death, the angel of death. They worship. They can, you go to the Mexican flea market. Well, it ain't the Mexican, it pretty much is the Mexican flea market. <laughs> on the west side. We made a whole video on that. I, I lost that, I wish I still had that video. Oh, I got it. Oh, uh, do you got it? The edited version of the No, nah, not the edited the version. The edited one was fly, man. All them tribes. I don't know what happens to that video, man. All them tribes. Man, we, we made a documentary on the Mexican flea market years ago. And we showed they had this number of idols all up through there. They had the uh, Mary Guadalupe. They, they had a they, they had uh, Mary Guadalupe's statues, shirts, wallpaper, uh, posters. Yeah. I don't know. I might have that edited one. It's expensive. I doubt it. Plus, but plus they got the uh, Jesus Malverde hats and T-shirts. That was real popular. The boots. Them, Jesus Malverde is more popular than uh, them Jesus boots cost Malverde. like five hundred dollars a pair. All them boots they got—they got the Jesus uh, Malverde boots, don't they? With the curly toes on them. Yeah, man. The one like uh, Michonne on the Michonne. Oh yeah, Michonne. Yeah, That's my like bitch, a, man. Yeah. You looking kind of good sometimes. They said Uncle Jim got buried in a pair of those boots and wanted to try to take them. Nah. Y'all ain't seen her, y'all ain't never seen the show made up? She look good though. Oh, yeah, she's gorgeous. Man, bitch. She's gorgeous. She look like a hamite. Nah, she, she look nothing like a hamite. I know what you're saying. This is fine as fuck. That bitch is pretty. Gorgeous. Yeah, I hate it. a roll though. I really, really hate the roll. Really she got her sword really back. Wait, cause they make her look like a hamite in the show. A warrior like this. Yeah. Shit. Fucking wonderful. Like she a voodoo bitch or something. Yeah. That's a good show though, man. I ain't seen it for serious yet. I don't want to start until the end. I, I tried to watch last week's episode three times. I keep falling asleep through it. That's some good shit, man. That's they in that I hospital. Watch, I only watch TV, but I watch me some Walking Dead and Game of Thrones, boy. I gotta watch both of them. Oh, I gotta get HBO when that shit comes hey, on. Is that on HBO? All you gotta get is the, the Pirate Bay. Uh, I work when it's on. I'm fucking... Uh -huh. Just recorded that shit on DVR. Uh, I don't got that DVR shit. All I got is motherfucking. What is this? You don't sound Chinese. Oh yeah, I got I got my Debian Linux. Oh, y'all been being asked you all. I'm about to put you some Linux on my laptop. A YouTube converter to download the audio. I don't care the most about the video. The what? Audio from YouTube videos. They do that. Yeah. They just they got Firefox plugins for that. Okay. So when I'm you go on your uh, tools on your Firefox, okay. just go to tools. You go to add-ons. And then just, just type in YouTube downloading. They have a bunch of shit. You can just download. They got one program. They got multiple ones. So all it, that that. When you hit the, it'll add a button on the video. When you click the button, it'll say download the MP4 or the MP3. Right, right, right. Or whatever you want. See, I did that. They ain't over. Yeah, it should be one. You gotta look through it. Just type, type in YouTube MP3. Because I had it on my last one before. Fucked up before you put this new Linux on. Just type in. I uh, had it on there then. Type I in. even had it on my tablet, but it's not even on my tablet no more. Yo, you can learn how to do some uh, other shit. You gotta learn how to use uh. There's websites you could go through. We got video converters though in the uh, uh, in the uh, software system. They offer you video. I don't no, I'm talking about. You got which one? You got Ubuntu. Um. Yeah. yeah. Just yeah, go to the software center and type in uh, video converter right, or right, right. transcoder. Transcoder. There should be something in there, man. Like, uh, I might just take my time to do it. And learn how to use the command line. That's what you got to do. Right. I know. You I know. use the FFmpeg. <laughs> no, nah, it makes it easy, bro. Should have confusing the shit. Nah, though. man. You got a command line. I, I type one little sentence, just a couple. Right. Just a clickety clack clack. You show me how to do it. My shit's converted. Yeah, you show me how to do that shit. I'm, I'm, I'm command line all day. I know day. how to do it now. <laughs> I should do some Linux videos on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. That should help. Cause that's technology, man. You gotta take advantage of this technology. They about go plug it in, plug it in, like Glade. You selling drugs? Yo, mom. Who, who are you talking to? Big old faggot. 
I'm selling your mama. <laughs> Pimps up, hoes down. It's like, nah. They get a little fucking faggot, man. Yeah, selling drugs. I said they was about to go plug it in, plug it in. So they thought I was talking about butt plugging with drugs. They probably are homosexuals. They was like, you got some drugs for us? Yeah. That last shit, week? No, right now. You ain't taking That shit is good. I can breathe. Yeah, he gave me one last week. That shit like, woo. I don't got no more. That shit is way better than the holes, man. Them holes is some GMO cough drops. Dude, probably put some in them. This shit from Germany. The rapper's in German. You hear that shit? Yeah, I saw a Switzerland. That nigger shit. Well, Switzerland's German, though. That's where Esau keep all of his money. You know the so-called Jew, they conquered Germany. World War II. They, they took that shit over. Because Ger Germany, that's a, that was real important to the so-called Jew. Because at Germany, that's where all the technology and everything, and then, uh, that's where all the technology comes from. So the Jew got that unlocked. You gotta get it to the Germans. Those are smart motherfuckers, man. The, the Germans and the goddamn Japanese. You can see why they was allies in World War II. Good Lord. Them Japanese, them motherfuckers are smart as hell. That's where the, all the good video games go. Go about go do some yoga. <laughs> fucking yoga. Like I was watching some Nintendo videos, uh, I was seeing your boy Sajiro Miyamoto, the dude that created Mario and all that shit. The dude is clearly an Israelite, man. He just, he just got a cool ass spirit on him. Who are we really? Mario. What, the fake Jesus? Yeah, everybody likes Mario. Like your boy, everybody likes that Japanese shit. Like your boy, what's his name coming out here? Uh, we all into that Japanese shit. So he should know that Israel scattered among those Japanese people, man. Should know, should know. We should know that. That's why you liking that shit. That's why you be feeling a lot of that Japanese shit. Mm -hmm. Like a lot of those people making the anime, making these video games, those are Israelites. Oh, you know Comic-Con was last weekend? Oh, was it down here? Yeah. Man, I ain't been at a comic book convention since high school. Since the 90s. Shit, I used to go to that shit all the time just to meet the artists. Yeah, everyone goes dressed up in costumes now. Yeah, there's a bunch of posers now. Bro and went. Nick dressed up as uh, Bane. And Lil Holden dressed up as Darth Vader. Bane? Yeah, break that down. All these comic book characters got uh, hidden names. You know what Bane means? Bane. Ba no, Bane. Bane? Bane? The Bane. Bat Batman. Oh, Bane. Uh, he's got a skull. Bane. Man. That means bones. <laughs> That's why he's got a skull face. It means death. Bane, like a bonfire. A bonfire is a bone fire. It's a bane fire. It's where you burn little children. Uh, on Halloween. Yeah. Give it to him. Didn't Raz al Ghul fuck him up or something? I can't remember. Raz al Ghul means, uh, Raz al Ghul. Raz means the head. That's a Hebrew word. That's where you get the word race. It means the head. Raz, race. Raz al Ghul. Ghul, that's what. Ghoul's an Arabic word. That's why the, the English word ghoul, like go, ghouls and gobbles, that comes from the Arabic. So Razal Ghoul, he's the head of the ghouls, head of the demons. Wow. Batman was a demon. He he trained under Razal Ghoul. Yeah, Razal Ghoul. Yeah, that's right, that's yeah. right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Batman is pretty much a demon, too. I ain't gonna I like lie. Well, in the dark with the bats underneath. I always like me some Batman comic books, I can't lie to them. There's some dark books, man. They're dark. Especially the shit written by my dude's an Israelite, uh, dark book. Uh, uh, Alan Grant. Shit, the same story over and over again. My dude, Alan Grant, he's a Scottish dude, man. He, he did a big run on Batman. Dude's clearly an Israelite. Who? Scottish dude, Alan Grant. Alan Grant. Alan Grant. Bad as fuck. Plus, you got the other famous Alan Moore. I don't know if he ever did Batman. He, he's clearly an Israelite. When's that new Batman Superman come out? Next uh, summer or something? I don't even know. You talking about with Ben Ascrack? Yeah. I thought that was out already. <laughs> ben Ascrack. <laughs> hey, he looks like a good Batman though, do not he? I think he's going to show that role out. Uh, it's not out yet? I thought it was already out. Batman versus Superman, some shit like that? Oh, I thought Ben Affleck Batman was yeah, cause, out. Yeah, because Superman's an awful time. Right. Right. Here it is, this motherfucker got unlimited power. And he's trying to, ah, man, I conquered the whole goddamn world. Hey, Why, Adam? Yeah, I'll be king of the earth. 
<laughs> you got powers like that? The whole world. And he, he working, me on Uncle Tom working for the United States government in the comic book. I'll be goddamn. What a faggot. That's why Batman, in the comic, pretty much Batman looked like Superman, like he a big faggot. And bat, that's why Batman whooped his ass. We got whooped his ass. Yeah, remember his Smallville Clark, he wouldn't even use his superpowers while he was playing football. Yeah, like, he's a big faggot, man. If I had superpowers, I'd be the greatest football player right, ever. Because right. Superman is a... hold back on nothing. <laughs> Hell no. You kill a motherfucker until you just... <laughs> but, you know, but Superman <laughs> is the biggest Uncle Tom character ever. Always, oh uh, yeah, in love with these dumbass bitches. Here it is, Lois Lane. Dumb been fucking a thousand other dudes and he fighting over this bitch. <laughs> right. He married him. This he motherfucker's was. God, pretty much. He's... You know, Superman... It's, it's based on the Bible. Kyle, Kyle L. It's Hebrew. Yeah, it's Hebrew. Yeah. Kyle L. It means the voice of God. That's bad, man. It means the voice of God. L. It's, real, nice it's nice really Allah. Yeah. That's a bad name. Kyle yeah. Allah. That's a bad ass sound name. There you go. And he come from Krypton. Well, he's based on the Bible. They're pretty much mm. saying he's the son of God. He came out of the sky in a chariot. You know what I mean? It all comes from the Bible. Yeah, that's right. Because who was there friend by Joe, uh, Joe Siegel, Joe Shuster? They were so-called Jews. You'll see um, uh, Valau Tempest, um, how they found the paintings in this old castle with, you, with a UF, giant UFO in it. Oh, for real? Yeah. Where's that? Yeah. Did I download it? Oh, find that shit. Oh, shit. What's that? Oh, Paul. What's up, Paulie? What's going on? They got, they got a Mario. We were just talking about Mario. Oh, shit. He kept yeah, Jake loved Mario, boy. After Shajira Miyamoto was an Israelite. No, I keep saying that. Oh, I thought I had more cop jobs. My brother's wife is a good girl. Oh, for real? I've been to Japan. Mm -hmm. I've met some cool-ass Japanese bitches over there, man. She's an Israelite. I, I, actually, I went to Japan. I didn't want to come Edith, back. Edomites. I was, about, I was about to go AWOL. I was in the Marines. I heard that. I, I heard was about that. like, fuck this, I'm staying here. Man, because that's back when I was heavy into video games. I was in video game paradise up in that motherfucker. They had it. She walked in my mom's crib the other day, you know, when everybody was at the funeral and shit. And my, no, it was actually before the funeral, before my dad even died. It was like a couple days before he died. He was in my mom's crib drinking wine and shit. And my mom. My brother drinking everything because he's crack. You remember the one that was called Street Crackhead fucking faggot? His <laughs> wife walked in the crib and you should have saw her expression and the way she the way she turned around looked just like a nigga walk. Because he was drunk, she's like, Are you drunk? I, I, I'm gone. And I was like, <laughs> You know? I'm like, like Thank you. When she did it, man. Yeah. You can't imitate a fucking Israelite woman, man. Mm -hmm. Unless you are an Israelite woman. You know? Yeah, she a Jake, man. Plus, I met her mom and her cousins. Bitch was just fine and her mom was fine. Hey, you know, there's a video. There's a pretty good video on YouTube. Now they've got some bullshit mixed with truth in it, like everything. But it, it, look at this video on YouTube. Uh here's your girl. Just to get on YouTube and type in Japan, Lost Tribes of Israel, or something like that, and they'll show you a lot of similarities between the Hebrew alphabet and Japanese alphabet. Hebrew, a lot of the Japanese got a lot of Hebrew words in their vocabulary. Because a long time ago, Israelites went to Japan. And they brought their culture with them. That's right. They got, that's the Israelites, man, that got that, you know, watch them Japanese, their apparel, yeah, their matches. That fly and shit. Oh, it, it, that's Israelites, man. Because you can see the heathens don't dress like that. Nah. Just the same off over there in them Hamites, man. Them Africans got them colorful uniforms yeah. and that. That should be looking good, man. Those Israelites had mat matches. Heathens can't color coordinate. No matter how hard oh, they try. They showed in this Japanese and that Japanese show they had a mask that some of some of the uh, some of the ancient Japanese people brought there. Because they brought it there's this mask they brought there. It, uh, it was the ancient Israelite mask, they said. And the mask was a was a mask of a black dude. Wow. Yeah. So over time. They started looking different, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now they all look like, uh, uh, they all look uh, so-called or Asian, whatever you want to say. Okay, somebody wants to get, wants to learn. They get drunk off. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all right, we're gonna be something else. I'll see you guys on the internet you know, I'm getting drunk off here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
women are not welcome. That bitch just got picked up on the corner and sucked some cock and got dropped back <laughs> off. <laughs> exactly. Gotta pay for that college tuition. Yeah, so he... What's up, he then? Yeah, he walked into my camera. This is... Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. He's like, ha, me, we were now also me, Chinese, me, play joke. <laughs> me, me put, put pee, pee, pee in your you know? We said shit when we was little kids. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, be a Chinese motherfuckers. And there's a billion Chinese motherfuckers up here too, man. It's like goddamn Chinatown out here. I want me a Chinese. I want me a mobile. I ain't kind. I ain't kidding, man. After having one, I want another. You gonna come home and get some cat for dinner? Yeah. <laughs> Over there in Japan, they be eating spiders. Cat bones, spiders, octopus. What the fuck? Shark fin. Shark. Yeah, eels. What's up with the shark fin? I don't know, they say it's a, that's expensive. And then who the fuck gotta go catch a shark? <laughs> God damn! Right, right. No, they I got found it, I found equipment it. to do that shit. Yeah, you did. Uh, <laughs> did you hang with that, bro? Yes, I could. <laughs> yeah, so I'm Just imagine the smell of that shit. Bitch can't even reach her ass. Oh, man. Yeah, because after a while, I do you notice, you do need an ass that got some action. Right. A little bounce to it. A little bounce, that's right. I like that crack when they bend over doggy style. <laughs> that, the deeper the crack, the better, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know? That's some, that's some ancient wisdom for y'all out there. <laughs> right. Oh, man, I told you I was watching that. Fuck, I don't know why I was watching that. Pimps up, hose down. And they, oh, who's that? That's Dracula. Yeah, but that's the painting that they had found. So you a folks. Oh shit, get that on camera. Where did they find that painting? In this old castle over there. Where he lived at, an old castle. Over there, what's that, Romania? Oh, Transylvania. It's a Transylvania by Romania. That right, looks like right, the right. castle uh, motherfucking Bugs Bunny went to. This guy right here, this guy's a great Israelite hero. Great. That, that's uh, Vlad the Impaler. That's where Dracula comes from. See, they give him a bad name. He's like, he's... He impaled people. He stuck giant stakes up their asses and they came out their mouths. He was killing Turks. Turks. We just talked about Turks in the last video. <laughs> yeah, right. The you spirit. know what I mean? That's the that is the spirit. Because yeah. he, he, was, he was impaling Turks. He was killing Muslims. The one they called Dracula, Count Dracula, the actual person, he was a Christian. He was an Israelite. And he was protecting Europe from those goddamn Muslims, from the Turks. Actually, the Edomites. He was killing Edomites. So that's why Hollywood, going back to Hollywood, make it, who's, who controls Hollywood? The so-called Jew, the devil, who's related to the Turks. Who, you know what I'm saying? They're all Edomites. So of course they're gonna tell you Dracula was a bad guy. Of course. Because they're the devil. That's what the devil does, he lies. Okay, this is just like what that first John 2 and 22. Whoever that says that uh, Yahweh Shah is not the Christ, he's a liar. There's no truth in it. Oh, shit. In that synagogue of Satan. So Vladdy and Paler, he was a great hero. You know what I'm saying? He was a great hero. Yeah. Them devils, he's so, they good at uh, making you look like a fucking uh, villain. A villain. Freddy Krueger. Yeah. <laughs> you know yeah, they made OJ look like a bad guy. They very good at that. Yeah, OJ Simpson, he's another hero. Mm -hmm. Well, sort of. <laughs> Yes, sort of. He could have done better. Right, right. Um, he's the names like, um, I'm sure y'all heard of Nat Turner. You see how they demonize his name, Nat Turner? Oh, they don't even teach about Nat Turner. Dude, no, he was a savage nigga. <laughs> he was just a savage slave. And all he was doing was trying to free his people. Mm -hmm. There's nothing savage about that. Right, reading the Bible, he read the Bible and went black wild. Buddy, it wasn't time yet. I mean, he was a fucking slavery. That's right. You gonna get mad at him because he tried to free himself? You know what I'm saying? Right, right. You gonna say that's evil? Don't get this on the good at that. He's so real good at that. I don't know about Charles Manson, but they demonized him. Oh, yeah, they did demon. Charles Manson didn't even get a. Even, hey, they do's nuts, don't get me wrong. But uh, Charles Manson is a Jake. For damn sure. For damn sure. You wanna talk about a motherfucker you talking to him talking? 
He he's talking. like a cool ass nigga out the hood. And all he does is uh, curse out his evil ass world when he talks. That's all he does. That's all he Even does. though he is stupid, got that swat stick on his goddamn forehead. Okay. I mean, he's obviously crazy, but I, this world made his ass crazy. That's right. And he didn't kill not a single person. He didn't kill nobody. He didn't even get a free trial. The judge said he was not allowed to have a jury because he, he was a... Uh, he was uh he would put a spell on him he would easily persuade the jury so the judge said you don't get a jury trial that the trial was all set up okay, okay he did not get a free trial that's why they make him out to be the devil yeah. and i even read that this motherfucker was doing his for the government you know oh yeah first originally yeah, yeah originally right right, right yeah right. but the shit he's in jail for he ain't got nothing no nah, ain't got nothing to do with that none of that he didn't do none, none of it, it. And they got just watch the interviews. Get on YouTube, type of Charles Manson interview, and tell me he's not an Israelite. Yeah, that's mentioned she's still there. Like Hearing him, that 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 dude. Uh, he uh, says he likes being that's locked a up. Up nigga, man. That's a straight up nigga, man. That he was Charlie White was interviewing him. He cursed Charlie White out. He said, he said, he said, uh, he said, I don't live in your world, because he's pretty much he didn't know it. I don't, but he's pretty much telling Charlie White, you're a goddamn Edomite. You, I, you're not my people. You're, I'm not like you. I heard that. You know what I'm saying? I heard that. I heard he's pretty. That. He's like you, the devil. He know Charles Manson even claimed to be a Christian. Wow. So he was on the streets teaching. So called. So yeah, but he's nuts. Uh, don't get me wrong. <laughs> don't get me wrong. Manson followers and shit. Yeah, we ain't no Manson. Uh, I mean, the dude got a bad rap though. Still, we they, got a we got a bad rap. Right. What's that shit in California? Hate Ashbury or some shit? Uh, I don't know. Where the hippies used to party all the time? I have no idea. That's where Charles Manson used to oh, teach yeah, the yeah. Bible. Yeah, um, I, know where the, I know where the compound. I lived in 29 Palms in the Marines. I forget the name of that town. Because they showed us when we drove by there. Like, oh, this is where Charles Manson hung out out in the middle of the desert. Where? I forget the name of it. You said it's California? It's been years. Yeah, it's out in the, wow. out in the desert in California. It's been years, bro. I forget what it was called. Y'all see the photos of the drought yet? Anybody? No. Oh, Lord. Yeah, I yeah, seen I some shit. Man, I man. seen some uh, months ago. Not recently. I just saw yesterday the timeline from uh, just five, four or five years ago until now, man. Shit. Complete awesome. rivers dried up and it's shit. Awesome. They finding, they going, they going around collecting more money by going around finding people. Yeah, they're... They got leaks. They're fault outside water holes just... Oh, they got hell coming for y'all. Well, first of all... They're finding more gold out there now, too. Oh, no. The Jew gonna get all that. But check this out. <laughs> right. <laughs> he gonna get, all, gonna get all, that. all that. Just like in a gold rush back in 49, the Jew came out there and started killing everybody. Any any poor person, say an Irishman found some gold? Oh, that, oh you found gold, huh? Well, never saw him again. Never saw you disappeared. Yep, yep. Found with your throat slit. <laughs> whatever. They killed your ass and took everything you had. Yes, stole your property. Stole your land. Your deeds. You know what I'm saying? Raped your women. Killed them. Yeah, that's what all the old Western movies are about. Oh, we was just talking about that movie, Pale Rider. Clint Eastwood. Watch that movie, Pale Rider, with Clint Eastwood. That's a bad movie, and it shows you how them devils, the goddamn Edomites, went out there in the West and was stealing everybody's land, taking their gold. You know what I'm saying? And that's why Pell Ryder, he was pretty much an angel of death and came and killed them motherfuckers. I Clint Eastwood make the best movies, man. Well, the dude that made them, that was him. Yeah, well, Clint Eastwood directed them, too. Did he? Okay. Yeah, he's I director. know the last. Well, he directed Pell Ryder, I'm like, sure. Like, um, yeah, and then took another one, a real good one. Uh, yeah, he I'm all about that shit. I Almost about all that. of them, yeah. He wrote and directed She's Grand Clint Torino. The same shit. Yeah. Clint Eastwood is. Didn't he write Grand Torino? He made yeah. here in Ohio. I don't know if he wrote it, he directed it. Yeah, he made a movie here in Ohio just what, a couple years ago. Did he? Yeah. Oh, because yeah, he, he don't always star in it either. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, gotta do, I gotta find out that movie. So you know Clint Eastwood's a Jake, too, oh, man. Fuck it, man. I want to choke motherfuckers and say otherwise. For real. <laughs> I want to... You got to be dumb as fuck. You know Clint Eastwood is dope. Nah. Hell no. He'll tell you some young boy. Man, man. you got to watch you some Clint it's Eastwood movies, bro. Man. Clint Eastwood. Clint Eastwood. You watch Clint Eastwood movies. That's you, right. You go. That should make you want to drink whiskey and slap bitches. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And eat some beef. Yeah, eat some beef. <laughs> beef, <laughs> beef stew. Or beef jerky, beef stew. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. He smoke cigars. Yeah. That's crazy. He always, yeah, he always got them little ass cigars. The thing about the truth, man, you got a whole lot of shit to learn. Yeah. It, it, it's the good shit. 
Yeah. You know, like the movies. Because we recommend you watch movies so like the zombie movies. Yeah. Ain't the, all the cowboy movies. Because the Western movies got all kind of history in it and truth yep, in yep, it. You know yep, what I mean? Yep. Ain't no wrong with watching movies, man. Yeah. Because if you're reading, <laughs> the movies is bad, man. Them zombie movies, man. There's so many of them. Well, they push to that because they playing on. What was we about to bring something out? What was we talking about? I thought we had a scripture on deck or something. I can't remember. Oh yeah. Ah. Man, it's true. You'll never know where you're gonna find some truth, man. Never know. Never know. Uh -oh. What's good about the old movies? You see all those things. All them tapes. All that old shit is way better than you can make now, man. Technology is overrated. Come on. Technology. Special effects. Well, yeah, you don't need special effects for a Western movie, now do you? Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know. I remember I was watching Stigmata and this bitch was possessed writing ancient Hebrew on the wall. Uh, yeah, you seen that movie Stigmata with, uh... What's that bitch was in that movie? That fine I don't even movie, know. What's uh, Sigmar? A bitch was possessed, or no, she was going she was through. Possessed the, by a demon. Yes, yeah, she, she, she was possessed, but what the stigmata is where Christ got, you know, the crucifixion with the, like the people go through the stigmata had all the wounds on their and hands she, she from went the to a trance crucifixion. In that movie, she went to a trance. Uh, her name is Patricia Arquette. That's that bitch's name. Fine as fine as hell too. Nice looking titties. But if she had this part of the movie, she got she went in a trance. She started writing ancient Hebrew on the wall. Like I, I meant to download that movie and try to read what it actually said. I'm gonna check it out. But, but the, movie, only the Catholic priest could decode it. They was like, this is ancient script. Don't Yeah, it was and, ancient Paleo Hebrew. So the script, the script we write in. The Catholic priest knew all that ancient Hebrew. But you know the so-called Jew made that movie, so who knows what they actually wrote on the wall? If you probably broke it down, it probably says some sick shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. That's a good thing. You should go try to break that down. You never know what you find. What's that? Movie? Oh, I got it on my computer. Stick model. But yeah, really, all the movies that do that shit, like the Ten Commandments, got the whole time. You got, you got that Paleo Hebrew, the ancient yeah. Hebrew. Yeah. It ain't got the uh, the Assyrian is the ancient. And there's a couple of stones that got the most size now. Yeah, that, yeah, the most high thing. Yeah, that most high thing, that, that matters, man. Don't listen to Nate, man. Oh. Don't listen to nasty Nate. The Bible says, whoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. <laughs> right. <laughs> in your scriptures on that. I mean, this, that's the endless scriptures on that. <laughs> right. So if you ain't calling on the name of the Lord, you ain't getting saved, according to the Bible. I mean, if you believe in the Bible. There's one right here. Oh, yeah, that's the, uh, uh, the, get down on camera. That's the Moab stele, the Mo, right? The stele of Moab? You're right, Moab, Moab. Yeah, yeah right. the Moabite stone. Yep. That's right. It got the Most High's name right there. That's his name, too. Yep, right there. Yahweh, it means he, he, that's crazy. to be, he exists. That's crazy. That's what it means. That's like when you call it, like King David called the Most High Yah for short. That just means He. You know what I'm saying? What else would you call the Most High? He's everything. I got a few Israelites over there. You know? What well, they knew about it too. The name. Well, <laughs> Israel. The Lord said Israel scattered among the heathen. That's right. I'll get that scripture. Hey, get uh, give me that scripture. I get uh, Exodus six and three. If we got time, that battery probably gonna die soon. I'm gonna just go ahead and get Deuteronomy 30. I have another one that was in Mexico. I'm gonna get Exodus 6 and 3 first. You talking about the Los Lunas stone? Is that what it is? Los Lunas. Yeah. yeah. Los Lunas. This Bible is so hard to turn the pages, man. It's cold. Oh, this ain't cold yet. <laughs> it ain't cold yet. You got it? Uh, Exodus 6. Oh, I can't hear that. Oh, fuck. Yeah, read it over. Oh, here they sing the Star Spangled. And don't it has a terrible too. vibration now? The only, only time it sounded right was when Whitney sang it or when Jimmy played it. <laughs> they had Aaron Lewis sing it at the World Series. Oh, yeah. Who? Aaron Lewis. Yep. Your girl Whitney Houston, she didn't make anything sound good. 
Yeah, oh, damn, this bitch can sing. Oh, go ahead. Yeah, well, yeah, just reset your house. Exodus 6, verse 3. And I prayed unto Abraham and Isaac and to Jacob by the name of God Almighty. All right, God Almighty, like, uh, at uh, one point in time, Israel forgot the Lord's name, so they was just calling him Alashaja in Hebrew, which God Almighty, which means a terrible demon-like power. Because the Most High is terrible. And unto the heathen, he's like a demon. Well, the Lord created it. That yeah, does sound terrible. Sounds sound like you're somebody singing with a dick stuck up their ass. Yeah, that's why that again. America's cursed. <laughs> yeah, that's cursed. Yeah, ain't nobody singing an anthem like Whitney no more. <laughs> so you know this shit's going down. <laughs> well, ain't no Ray Charles singing uh, America the Beautiful no more. <laughs> Real, he sang the hell out of that, didn't he? He sang the hell out of made his own beat too. <laughs> yeah. Night. Boy, and my, you know, that's my, that's how I know my dad. <laughs> my dad loves from Ray Charles. That's his favorite singer. Uh, go ahead, read that. Yeah, read it again from the top. Exodus 6 verse 3. And I appeared unto Abraham and to Isaac and unto Jacob by the name of God Almighty, but by my name, Yahweh, was not known to them. Right, because at one point in time, Israel, when they went to captivity, they forgot the name of Yahweh. You know what I'm saying? Just like our people now. It, here it is, motherfuckers are so stupid. They forgot the name of the Lord. They're like, God is God's name. But yet, but yet they still, every time something good happens to them, what do they say? Jesus. No, they say hallelujah, though. Well, hallelujah. hallelujah. That's right, my bad, I'm yeah. bad, my bad. Yeah, they already for that one, wasn't it? Because they don't know, they don't realize when you say hallelujah, halal means to praise or to exalt. <laughs> and Yah is short for Yahweh. Wow. So when you say hallelujah, but get out, get it. I'm, this is important. Wow. When you say hallelujah, you're saying praise Yah. You're saying praise Yahweh. So these people, they say hallelujah all the time. And they don't realize that they give giving praise to the Most High. You know what I'm saying? Uh, read that one more time. It's important. Exodus 6 verse 3. I appeared unto Abraham, unto Isaac, and unto Jacob by the name of God Almighty. But by my name, Yahweh, was, was I not known to them. Keep going. Keep working at Take care of it. And, I, and I have also established my covenant, covenant with them to give them in the land of Canaan, Can the, yeah, uh, Canaan. the land of their pilgrimage when they were strangers. strangers. Alright. Oh, that's the point. That's the point. That's right. Because the, the Lord's name is your house. That, that's the name.